Cool. Can't we leave them plugged in all the time? Is it going to build up memory? What's going on? Three options for charging. You can use AC power. There's uh, a rechargeable battery that comes with it that you can charge in the device or a separate charger. That gives you up to four hours. You also can use Surefires, one, two, threes. So you put the three disposable Surefires in there and get up to five hours on a charge, which is really great. You have a lot of charging options. You should be able to go all day. Um, so we're not it's, getting- It's much right in, on it, it's right yeah, on it. Yeah, it's not getting much information though. There, ooh, right there. I'll tell you what it is, and maybe that'll make a difference. Yeah, go ahead and say what it is. It's part of my feeling. I just have feelings yeah. for the day. So it's, I don't pro know it's, it's probably metal, right? Yeah. Well, so I don't know. it's that's out of scope. It's pure. It won't see pure metals. Okay, that's what I was trying to right? figure. So there's a good example, right? So if I'm not getting it, I might want to try an FTIR or some other means. Okay. But again, if it's what, what's really I important, there and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> what's, what, what's really important is it's telling me it's not harmful, right? It's, it's not, because if it was like Can an explosive. Can you that with that then? Yeah, we definitely. could try, but <laughs> like I said, if it is a pure metal, it's not gonna get See, it. See, I don't know, I yeah. don't know, they put it in my, my head, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get to that next. Cool. Do, that? I'm, I'm, is this a paste? What is this? Is this crystals? I don't know. Okay, I'm worried about that one. Um, this one, if it, if this one's water, none of those are water. Okay, cool. But if it were water, Raman's not going to get it, and I would have to extract a sample. Uh, but let's go ahead. Uh, Kyle, do you want to do one? Sure. All right, you haven't done one yet. I'm gonna. Why don't you position the probe right against uh, the container, and you want to press it right up against it. Perfect. So you hit the top right blue button mm -hmm. twice. Now you want to go left arrow and scan. Get a lot of fluorescence. So the, we have some yellow bars for fluorescence, only one bar of signal strength, but it's getting something, it's finished. So now it's doing an analysis to see what we have with this concoction. If you get no signal strength, it won't tell you what it is then? Yeah, it'll actually give you some feedback and might say four hours remaining, and then you know you're not gonna get it. I think scan the container. Okay, because it says polystyrene. Perfect. So these containers, they don't look that thick, right? But it's actually, it got the polystyrene, it got the plastic itself. So what I probably want to do, let's take the nose cone off and let's try it again. Let's try it this time. First ones are worse. Cool. Thank you. I got a few of those too, but I'm probably running low. Our fluorescence even higher. <laughs> Is it giving you some feedback on time? 15 minutes. Okay. It's probably struggling with this one. Yeah. What is the thing? It's a paint or something, or it's a salt? It's right in the container. Yeah, is that paint? I have no idea what's in there. We seriously don't know? So then, yeah, we know what it is. But like in this case, the, <laughs> Some the, the point is that it's all sexy and good to be able to not touch the chemical, but it, you can get a pipette and put it in a vial. Right. And you can put it basically in its... Right. If it can identify it in a vial right next to the laser, then you're not going to get it. Yeah, So right, absolutely. at this point, you've exhausted your non-contact um, approach. So the next thing is, you know, Take the uncap the thing, put it in a vial, and then shoot it. You got it. Perfect. Right. That's what I would do as my next step. Yeah. Or then go to a different technology and go to the true defender next. Yeah, so I mean, we're still sitting at six. So let's kill this one. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. So with that one, can you take the plastic wrap off of it? Shoot the put the probe inside and go direct? We could. Yeah, we can do that. I will. We'll do this one. I'm guessing it's probably not the container, that it probably was seeing the sample when we actually removed the nose cone, but that particular sample um, either is too complex of a mixture. Um, I'll tell you why, so I'm picking it up. <laughs> yeah, what we got? It's diesel exhaust fluid, which is two thirds deionized water and the other third urea. Okay, but what else is it mixed in? Not that one. Yeah, the, this we is the white paste. One. Oh, I thought you were a white. <laughs> we'll get that one. So number two, which we just did, is uh, propanol. 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 To propanol. I just can't pronounce it. That's okay. Two. No, but we got it. Perfect. And what color is the screen? Green. Green. Awesome. Yeah, so the Cool. 
So under the now if we, if we ran that hand sanitizer on the FTIR, it's probably a lot of water in there too. It's highly flammable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the um, the FTIR would actually say water and no, and propanol. It probably pick up both. Propanol, the ramen doesn't propanol. see the water, just sees the propanol. Look at all the look at all the cinnamons <laughs> for propanol. The uh, first one is is a spray insecticide. Okay. It's all the different names. Interesting. It's probably too complex a mixture. There's probably a lot of stuff in that. And if it's, if it's not in the library, um, we probably won't get it. Sometimes it may There's get the active ingredient if it's really strong signal. The but I'm guessing page that is right that in this is, bad boy. It's too complex of a mixture. All the different names. There's the exposure limits together. right in there. Um, we can try it with FTIR, but I doubt it will get that as well. Let's try the green one next. Somebody else want to use it? You want to step up? I've used this thing before. <laughs> So were there any like additions other than the um, like, where are we going green? Yep. Between the RM and the RMX or the other difference is there is a um, port for integration with a robot on the RMX. Oh. So the RMX was originally designed yeah. for box squats. Um, Which is however, that right? the majority of the hazmat is by the RMX now too because of that flexibility Scoot over. flex program. We'll scan it. But it was designed to work with a robot. So you can mount it on a robot, position the camera, drive it up to the sample, or everything remote. So we have integration with uh, the PackBot from my robot and the uh, Talon robot from Kinetic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're working talking with some of the other robot vendors as well about adding more integration. But those are the only two differences between the RM and the RMX. So we're going to sit there like everyone from Kinetic is sitting there like this. And just kind of with the RM? Or, yeah, that's what they had that up Oh, they had the RM without the probe. Yeah. 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 So they had the, the full, you know, well, Front of the machine, you know, you put the whole thing up and you put the electric scroll. I mean, it works obviously the same, but it's just it, different. Yeah, it's the same, right? It's still, it's still thinking. Yeah, it's Pass almost done. Okay. And it was the same way with the true defender. You had to sit there with the uh, solid. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Move it around. It's got easier now too. We'll show that next. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You don't need to worry about it with the FTX, but it is kind of cool because if you're scanning here, I can flip the screen and then look at it. So here we passed, just like on the first defender. Okay, so what do we want to do with the true defender first? I know you're all curious about that pace. I'm 99% sure we won't get it. Let's try. <laughs> we want this. Yeah, but before we yeah before we get to it, I'm gonna do my background first. So we'll hit scan. We'll run the background. And then we can bring the, uh, the sample. So it's a liquid, we don't need to worry about the anvil. So just hit that target right in the center. Maybe put one or two drops on it. That's good. You just like gravity do the work, right? You don't need to worry about the anvil because it's liquid. Semi-liquid, it's a paste, but. <laughs> So strictly, it's just a solid, you can't worry about the anvil. Yeah, with a solid that's like a powder, okay. you, a prill, you want to compress it right into the ATR. I'm thinking it'll come back in no match found, but I might be surprised if it's in the library. Cool stuff, huh? Lasers. Lasers. <laughs> this one's the infrared beam, but... It was the no signal strength me on that. Huh, all right, we got it. So this is saying it's seen automatic transmission fluid, power steering fluid, kerosene, vacuum, diesel oil. Those are all kind of the same stuff, right? That's why they're all grouped here. If I scroll down, we'll see what else it sees. The diesel fuel, and the baby oil, mineral oil, and water. It sees water as well. So, and what was that, what was that one? That was the... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, repulse. I was trying to, it has active ingredients and I was trying to see what else is in here. So if we can actually take a look at the, uh, at the screen, view the spectra. This peak here, that's the water it sees right there. That's the telltale water peak. And this is the other bits of information that it sees as well. So it's getting a really solid reading on there. It is. Know. It is, but we don't actually have it in the library as this chemical, right? right. It's seeing the mixture of, of yeah. everything in there. We could add it to the library. So if you guys sent this this reach back, or I sent this to our guys today and say, hey, can we add this repulse? Because we have raid in the library, right? So um, it's just one of those things that you know, we don't normally see, but if our customers started saying, hey, we need to identify this, we could add it to the library. You also have the capability to add it to the library. So, so we can customize it for the department then? Yes, you could add chemicals to the library. We ask that you involve our support guys to help walk you through it, to make sure it's not already in the library, you're not adding a duplicate, um, and we help walk you through it. But in the deep in the menu, you can actually add chemicals to the library. Um, and we recommend that you specifically add the chemicals. One time, um, a long time ago, one of our customers, for fun, for training, added a white powder and they called it anthrax. Just because, just to illustrate that, but then they went on a real call and somebody got anthrax, right? <laughs> Not cool at all, you know, very, very scary, right? So when you're adding chemicals, you know, I would recommend it. Just one prill is all we need. Okay. Okay. So what, I'm, what I typically do is I have, a tool where I'll um, center it hmm. <laughs> right over the target. Okay. I'll turn the anvil, make sure we make contact. It's oh, okay. So, man, that's a long way to get it. It pushes it right down in there, right? Yeah. Why don't you use that nitro? Got it. I got to take it back there. Like they need nitro, them. Though. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Drum roll. <laughs> I can smell this uh, pesticide stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it smells better than most of them. It does actually. Boom. Ammonium nitrate. Hmm. 